Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have the latest from the live radar then we'll run through the UK Met Office run have a look at the precipitation and temperature over the next five days so it does look like it's going to be incredibly dry for most of the British Isles over the next three or four days some precipitation in the far north and west through Scotland and Northern Ireland but again there it's patchy uh, and shouldn't be too heavy just generally thicker cloud it does look like temperatures are going to be widely very warm th this week as well decently warm today low 20s but it's going to be ramping up potentially towards 30 degrees come Thursday We'll then have a look at the mid to longer range, looking at the GFS, GM, Eastern GF and the ensembles, as it does look like, unfortunately, after quite a warm week, this weekend could be quite cool and unsettled with quite a deep area of low pressure, just sort of milling around the UK, could get quite a bit of precipitation uh, and a lot of showery weather around with, yeah, again, cool and maybe windy conditions as well, not looking great for the weekend after looking like a very fine week incoming. So remember, if you enjoyed my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So if we do start on the live radar, you can see most of the British Isles is dry at the moment. There is a lingering weather front just to our north and west, and that is heading southwards and eastwards, and will impact Scotland and Northern Ireland over the next 12 hours or so. It will bring some precipitation, but as I said, it's going to be light, maybe some steady rain within it, but it's generally just going to be an area of thicker cloud and on and off rain. Elsewhere, further south and eastwards, it's really dry and it's a warm day, around a degree or two above average at the moment. And as I said, it's going to be rising by a couple of degrees every day until peaking on Thursday in around that 29, 30 degree mark somewhere in central England. Now, it's not going to be as hot as last Friday, where we got up to around 32, 33 degrees. Um, but again, that was more focused towards England and generally southern and eastern parts. However, this warmth we're seeing this week is quite widespread. Even parts of Scotland, away from the cloud and precipitation we're seeing over the next day or so, and parts of Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, will get up towards the mid-20s, 24, 25 degrees. So yeah, it's not quite as hot as last week, but it's quite likely to be widespread warmth. Um, which, so all areas really getting a little bit of this nice summery weather. Now, across Europe, we have hung on to that very hot weather. Buchan's getting swept away now, and you see some big thunderstorm outbreaks there. And we could see some of these thunderstorm outbreaks begin in the UK once again towards the weekend, as I said, turning more unsettled with lower pressure. Now, if you have a look at the temperatures, just briefly looking at what we're seeing on the surface, we're calling this around half two, so getting towards the peak temperature of the day. And you can see most of uh, the British Isles is in these orange colours. So, as I said, widespread warmth. Not hot weather, but warm towards that 20 degree mark. Maybe just towards 22, 23 degrees in a few spots. Some cooler areas across parts of Western Scotland and Northern Scotland. Over the high ground especially, more towards sort of 15 to 18 degrees. But generally, this is the most widespread orange I've seen on one of these maps uh, for quite a while. Probably since last summer. Such a widespread warm day today. Because we have had hotter days, as I said, but they have been focused in specific areas. It's the first time I've really seen this chart, and it's been widespread oranges. So all areas getting a really, really nice day today. You can see those big thunderstorms across Germany really holding those temperatures down. And you can see that incredibly hot air mass, which has fueled those storms, is now dropping away to our south. Doesn't look like it's going to be returning anytime soon, but with it still lingering there... Very small little shifts in the pressure pattern bringing up a southerly or southeasterly wind could very quickly bring that in. So we have to keep an eye on that as we head into July. So if we do now have a look at the UK Met Office run, have a look at what the precipitation and temperature is doing over the next five days. Now if you run to this afternoon, you can see it's incredibly dry, some patchy cloud around, especially further northwards and westwards. Over this course of the evening, that precipitation is going to move in, maybe a little bit heavy over the higher ground. But as I said, it is fracturing. You can just see light to moderate rain uh, sort of in sort of ebbs and flows coming in there. And as we head towards tomorrow afternoon, again, another really quite nice day. Maybe a few heavy showers over the highlands of Scotland, but elsewhere it looks really dry. The sunniest weather across England and Wales. As we head towards Wednesday again, another very dry day. Hardly any precipitation at all, except for the far northern isles of Scotland with the weather front trying to push in there. But it's almost a carbon copy of today and Tuesday. Um, and because these temperatures just build each day with the strong June sunshine, it's going to be 
a couple degrees warmer. So Wednesday could be 25, 26 degrees. And Thursday, very similar. Weather front trying to push in from the far north and west. So maybe Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland and the western parts of Scotland starting to see a bit of precipitation, thicker cloud. But elsewhere, very warm indeed. Getting towards that high 20s, low 30 degree mark. Potentially, maybe that 30 degree mark could be breached. Um, we'll have a look at those two minutes temperatures in a minute. And you'll see it's getting towards that 29, 30 degree mark. So the potential is there. And we'll just have to see exactly how it does play out and beyond that as we head into friday you see the low pressure does start to run in and there could be heavy showers and thunderstorms you can see there's some thicker reds there moving in and some heavy rain moving in on a weather front as well so that is something we do need to keep an eye on as we head into the weekend turning more unsettled quite widely more cloud and probably quite a lot cooler as well you look at those upper air temperatures you can see that warmer air that's giving us our warm conditions at the moment getting swept away by a much cooler air in off the atlantic now, if we have a look at those two meter temperatures, you can see today widely in around that 20 degree mark. As I said, widespread oranges and yellows shown here. And it's going to be even warmer tomorrow, potentially getting towards the low to mid 20s, maybe 22 to 24 degrees. Maybe the isolated 25 degrees is possible in a few spots. And as we head towards Wednesday, you can see again even warmer 26, 27 degrees is possible and widely low to mid 20s. And as I said, Thursday peaking around that 28, 29 degree mark. And of course, locally, we could breach 30 degrees, but widely mid to high 20s, really quite pleasant. And as we head towards Friday, maybe hanging on to some warmth in England and Wales, maybe 23, 24 degrees, still possible there, but elsewhere cooling down significantly in the north and west before getting really swept away. So if we do now have a look at the mid to longer range, uh, showing that low pressure running in, off the, in on the weekend, can we have a more detailed look at that over the next day or two as it comes into the five day time frame um, I think this coming weekend and we'll have a look at what that precipitation in terms of thundery weather, wind as well as it is quite a little, little significant low that could be running in off the Atlantic. Now you can see high pressure is generally in control, we're not under the centre of the high but we are generally under higher pressure, so pretty dry and warm. But you see that low spinning up, really spinning up around the United Kingdom. If we do zoom in, you can see this little low pressure, 994 millibars, so not completely irrelevant. And you can see it is quite a little deep low pressure system here. And you can see those winds are picking up with the isobars tightening towards Saturday, Sunday, and most likely you will be seeing quite a lot of precipitation mixed with that as well in terms of showers. Not too cool, so temperatures won't be abysmal, but around or slightly below average. If we do run out to European look again, you see that low pressure does mill around, but actually moves back out of the Atlantic very interestingly, and high pressure tries to push in back from the east. So it could turn drier towards Tuesday, Wednesday time for another low tries to run in and it successfully does and turns us unsettled again. Right towards the end of the run, staying pretty unsettled for the Azores high extension tries to build back in to give us similar conditions to what we have now. So GFS definitely going pretty unsettled from around day sort of day six, day seven to day fourteen. Very unsettled there. Again, no severe lows, but pretty deep low pressure systems for this time of year it's all stagnating around the uk not moving through which means a lot of showers just spiraling around um, and some stronger winds potentially for some as well and of course that low pressure system is deepening over the top of the uk uh, and it's very difficult to forecast deepening um in a, in a sort of very far in advance uh, and it's definitely difficult to forecast wind and rain as well when a low pressure system is deepening because if it deepens a little bit more than forecasted those winds could be very uh, could it could increase massively same with the precipitation or it could not deepen as much as forecasted um, because normally when you see an Atlantic system like this most of the deepening is done out in the North Atlantic before it arrives so we have much better estimates a day or two in advance what's going to be happening but if this really does deepen over the top of the UK it could be very very interesting to see exactly what the models do put out for this weekend so we'll have to see with that so if we do now look at the gm see how that does compare again the high pressure in control at the moment low pressure running in off the atlantic quite a little deep low pressure system there again if we run into the united kingdom look 994 millibars once again again that's 988 millibars towards the center of that low pretty deep indeed before it does spin away back into the atlantic we see another little low pressure system running before we do go sort of in between weather systems um, with a bit of high pressure trying to build in but still low pressure around so again unsettled from day six to day 10 here from the latest gm 
And if we do have a look at the ECMWF, see how that does compare. And look at the Midnight Run. Again, high pressure in control, low pressure running in, spinning around the UK. Not quite as deep as the other runs we're making out to be, but still deepening as it's out in the Atlantic. Spiraling a lot of showers and maybe persistent bands of rain before eventually just milling out the Atlantic with a bit of a southerly flow. Could start to pull up some warmer air. You can see some very hot air across parts of France. So it could start to feel some thunderstorms there towards day 10. Uh, and that is something we do need to keep an eye on. Whenever we have these low pressures milling around, if they start to bring up a hot air from the south, a uh, hot air mass from the south, we could start to see that sort of filter into the low pressure and produce some big thunderstorms but that is in the sort of seven to ten day time frame so we'll have a look at that in more detail if it does come to fruition so if we do finish the video but just have a look at the ensembles you can see the very warm air mass we have over the coming days a good five degrees above average peaking around sort of 11 12 13 degrees at 850 hpa pretty warm indeed sort of the upper air temperatures that are highly suitable for high 20s maybe peaking at 30 degrees and then we see a drop off around the 24th, 25th, so in four, five, six days' time to around or below average. Most of the ensemble members are about two, three, four degrees below average. Again, with the strong June sunshine, it might not feel that all too cold unless we've got thicker cloud or rain around. If we do see sunshine, it will be not too bad, but precipitation is pretty high. No massive spikes at this stage because most likely a lot of the precipitation will be convection based. So very difficult to forecast more than just a couple days in advance and especially by lower resolution ensembles. But we'll have to see. There is quite a bit of precipitation there at the moment. And in the longer term, temperatures return to around, maybe slightly below average in the longer term. But you can see precipitation does peel off a little bit. So signs perhaps of higher pressure trying to build back in. If you have a look at the sea level pressure, you can see for London, it's not too bad. It does drop off around the 24th to 26th. But we're not seeing any massive drop off because the centre of that low is most likely further northwards and westwards, but still generally lower pressure. If you have a look at the two metre temperatures, you can see peaking around Thursday, high 20s here. And again, these are low resolution, so most likely a couple of degrees below the peak temperatures. But you can see it is ramping up by a couple of degrees each day before really dropping off. By Friday down towards low 20s again and by Saturday, Sunday and Monday looking pretty chilly before looking like there's potential for a bit of recovery. But at that point, the uncertain uncertainty does take over. If we do compare it to the ECMWF, see how that does compare over the next couple of weeks. Looking at the midnight run, you can see warm over the next five days around the 25th, 26th of, um, of June. We do see that drop off. Good three, four, five degrees below average with high precipitation around as well. And then we see the overall ensemble mean return to around average. You can see the operational ECMWF does go very hot. Some runs going with that, with that southerly flow, but not too many. It does look like precipitation will be quite high in the longer term. So it does look like unsettled conditions will be coming back. It hasn't, it hasn't, it's been pretty dry recently. It hasn't really been like that in the models because sort of keep correcting themselves when once we get into sort of the five day time frame always the model showing a bit of precipitation around and then never never quite comes off yes we did see thunderstorms over the weekend um sort of saturday into sunday time um but it's been sort of convection based um a lot of these showers haven't really come off so be interesting to see whether we do see this same sort of precipitation pattern in a couple of days time or whether it does sort of disintegrate and sort of have drier gaps in it and if we do finish by just have a look at the two meter temperatures over the next couple of weeks, again from the Eastern VF, ramping up significantly towards high 20s towards Thursday and then dropping off into Saturday, Sunday and Monday in around the high teens. So not cold, but cooler than average by a degree or two. And under precipitation and cloud, it could feel quite chilly indeed. Beyond that though, temperatures do rise once again to around average, but still precipitation around, so no massive no massive sort of warm-up or dry, drying sort of period there. So we'll have to see how it does develop in the longer term. For the time being, though, enjoy the next sort of four days until Thursday is looking very, very nice. Friday, the east still could be pretty decent. Central areas maybe as well. But the west and the north, it does look like precipitation will be running in. And then for Saturday and Sunday, it looks like all areas will be back under low-pressure influence. Too far away at this stage, it's the exact positioning of precipitation, because as I said, it's going to be convection-based, but there could be some quite heavy torrential rain in there, some thunderstorms as well, cooling the average conditions, uh, some gusty winds, um, so sort of uh, everything getting thrown at us, potentially, on the weekend. So we'll just have to keep an eye out for that. But at this stage, as I said, enjoy the next few days, make sure you stay safe out there. Even though it is not incredibly hot, we can still have 
issues, especially with sunburners. The UV levels are very high, so please do take the necessary precautions and, of course, stay hydrated as well. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.